Welcome in, everybody, for Dragonlance episode 28. Yes, I know we're streaming this on a Thursday, but, you know, scheduling and stuff. So the next two weeks will be this week and next week is going to be for Dragonlance because the schedule conflicts. And I know if I've always said I'll never stream DD on a Thursday night because of Critical Role, but, you know, here we are. Never say never, right? Uh, with that being said, uh, welcome in. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. If you don't really leave a comment, leave a, a emote of your favorite one. And yeah, I I don't know what else to put out other than uh, the Black Order is still coming to exclusively to YouTube. Uh, we uh, I put we were going to do it this Sunday, but you know things like you know Super Bowl. Everybody wants to go do that instead, so we push it back another week. Well, that's fine. It gives me time to paint more miniatures. I only got one of them painted so far. Uh, Nerd Hollow is going to be in that. So make sure you tune into that on uh, YouTube. I'm going to have some stretch goals and stuff for YouTube. So you get to reward a party in that way. That being said, let's turn it over to uh, Cleansing Rain. Hey, y'all. I'm Cleansing Rain. I joined the campaign about five episodes ago as Dashjin Yenvery, a bardic sea elf searching for a lost instrument. I'm excited to be participating in this Dragonlance campaign. It's been it's been harrowing these first few episodes, and uh, I think it's only going to get worse tonight. So I hope you guys like to watch us struggle, because I believe struggle we shall. And uh, Vera, or Nilish. Hey, I'm Nilish. Uh, I am on hiatus at the moment uh, for my streaming, so technical difficulties um doesn't really matter though considering how uh messed up my power world is right now until they finish <laughs> updating it so you'd only get like two minutes of it then it crash two minutes of it then it crash so we're good for now and then bellworm he is there he'll be peering on camera every now and then i think <laughs> i am you are correct hello everyone uh old man garris here on twitch and youtube currently doing world creation in a D&D uh, &D fifth edition setting. Uh, so world creation and map making is what we do on stream, along with a little video gaming of uh, No Man's Sky, uh, Path of Exile, and similar to Nihilish, Pal World, when it stays up. All right. Uh, for these next Thursday nights, it's going to be a little bit shorter stream. So let's just go and get dive right into it and see what happens. Uh, don't even know who rolled the lowest. I have not been keeping track. So who rolled the lowest? You didn't all roll, but I rolled a two. Oh. So it's probably going to be me. I never rolled. <clears throat> Got a three. Uh, so as long as Ziggy doesn't roll a one. Well, so Bookworm rolled a one. Oh, yeah, no. she rolled a 12. Her second one was a one. Uh, there were two I 12s. See. I see. I see. All right. <laughs> What'd you get, Ziggy? Um, let's find out. I have 14. 14. All right. So, Vera, you got recap tonight and you get yourself inspiration unless you already have one. Do you already have one? Uh, you do not. So, you get an inspiration. You're the only one of the group that didn't have an inspiration. Very nice. All right, well, that being said, grab your goblet, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
And welcome back. Vera, would you like to lead us in tonight's episode? Last time on Dragonland, uh, we were still on our way to uh, Camp Karen Clay um, to rescue a bunch of uh, sea elves. Um, we were waiting for the water to go down because we were kind of stuck uh, from island to island to island. Uh, we had some battles, but... Um, Last time specifically, we had rested and started on our journey again. The water had gone down a lot more. And um, the night prior, we had seen some Dragon Owl rider riders go by, and we headed that direction. Um, What else happened? <laughs> we did finally find Cam Carrion Clay. Uh, I'll say that. Um, uh, we, uh, carry stealth ahead to get a little bit of a look-see, um, but a few of you still have to try and get a look-see, but, um, no one was really high enough to see shit. There was a camp. I'm pretty sure it's the camp we're supposed to be attacking. Um, very, uh, bad. It's really highly defended. It's very bad, uh way for us to go in. It seems to be on a little island with a tower in the middle that can see everything. Uh, the water is low right now, so it kind of looks more like a cliff than it does an island. If we could wait for the water to go up, but then we'd have no way of getting in and out, maybe water walk across. That's when the debating began. We sat there and came up plan after plan after plan on how to um, approach this. Uh, uh, we could water walk in if we waited a day for the water to come up, but then, you know, the Dragon Outriders might be back, and we didn't exactly spot them yet in the camp. We could put on our old, um, Dragon Army, uh, uniforms that we had stolen before, um, and pretend to be them and sneak in, but then we had a little bit of some arguments on who would play, you know, the role of prisoner or not. Seemed to go between Dastion and Belrum. Those were the first two choices. Then it very quickly only became Dastion. He, we apparently want to see him in chains. Or just beat him up, apparently, as uh, Balram said. Though so, uh, we we took a while to argue over what we were going to do there. Uh, we didn't seem to come to a solution. And Balram decided, hey, guess what? We need more information. And he walked straight on toward the camp. Without another word. <laughs> Turned we invisible did not know first. what he was doing. Yeah. We did not know what he was doing, so we all panicked. Um, uh, we didn't want to disrupt whatever he was doing or draw more attention to him. And he actually turned invisible, as far as we know. Uh, Mela cast the inv invisibility. So, yes, he did turn invisible. We didn't exactly know. He just went, poof. We also didn't know he could do that. He apparently doesn't know that he can do that. He didn't notice. He just walked right on up to the gate, stealthily, and uh, looked on in. Um, seems to be some cages. We already knew that. One of them has some kind of big creature in it. Power in the center. Lots of guards. Dragon-based and uh, goblinoid, I believe. Um, and some of them actually look like they're people we may have fought before. So... Being prisoner might not, and pretending to be part of their group might not exactly work out. Uh, but of course, we were still back on the other side of the cliff, panicking because where where did Belrum go? Where did Belrum go? Do we charge in? Do we rescue him? It's Belrum. He doesn't need rescuing, right? Uh, he did come back and he reported what he found. And um, somewhere around this time, I must have just wanted to kill things because I bleeped out most of what the plan was. We'll, we'll, we'll call it that. I just wanted to hit things, maybe. Um, but the plan seemed to settle on. Dastion would be prisoner. Two of us would pretend to be dragon army officers. And we would lure as much of the attention of the front guard toward us. Uh, while uh, Carrie and Belrum, who is not sneaky. And we don't know if he can do invisibility again, but okay, he would go, those two would stealth in and try to take out the tower. And then somehow let 
us know that the tower's been taken out, but... And then we would take out the guards in the front? That's somewhere where we were at with the plan. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Alrighty. Let's just show the audience what y'all are seeing as well. <clears throat> So currently, it is nighttime when y'all are making this, uh, these plans. Um, you, as Bellarm went down and reported what he saw, uh, as you're looking over, making your plans, uh, I don't remember the last ones, but you remember, uh, it is nighttime. The only people you see out are the people in the towers, er, towers, tower, and the people at the gate. Everybody else seems to be either indisposed or asleep at some point. And Belram did report to you uh, some kind of hop or goblinoid person or something walking to the big tent. What would y'all like to do? Yeah, from what I've got written in my notes, this is Jazz talking, the plan was Vera and Mela would bring Dastian and distract the guards. And while they're being distracted, me and Bellroom would sneak in while invisible. Hopefully Bellroom can turn invisible again. And Ziggy would be holding back as much as he could, being a sniper in cover. So while the guards at the front are being distracted, me and Bellroom sneak in go straight to the tower and take out those people so that they can't see us and then head to the big tent and take out whoever's in there so I guess just keep them distracted as long as possible and if you can't try to quietly take them out is my understanding of the plan if you guys get in trouble well, what do we do uh run away because we're probably dead <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's the best backup plan. Now, we, I believe... We should probably be ready for a rescue or something. Sorry. I believe... No, you're good. I believe that myself as Daz might have a pretty good eye line on the actions taking place in both the tower and or maybe the tent. And if things get too hairy, I can, of course, send a sky signal to let you all know that we need backup. And I can also use message or sending to communicate if I cannot see. Um, just to kind of inform the, the, the three outside. Well, see, I, I truly, I don't know what Mila and Vera do after they drop me off. Do they just try and go elbow nudge with the other guards? Or what are they, you know, where's their directive? But I assume we get interrogated for two tiny little humanoids somehow having captured you yes that does seem a bit unlikely doesn't it also um i remembered that i have a bounty on my head um when so what? whenever i was captured i overheard some guards saying that i had a bounty um so i don't know if they collected it but then it didn't really matter because you all helped me escape but i do remember that i had a bounty on my head so i don't know if that's still there or if they would recognize me, but just wanted to put that out there for for everyone. Yeah, I do have a disguise kit. I was about to say, you have that disguise thing, right? My spell only lasts for one minute, but I have a kit that I think we could probably do enough. That sounds good. How do you feel about dyeing your hair? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, how do you feel about dying? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> whatever we need to do. I'm willing to do it. Someone out of the ether suggests maybe she could be the prisoner. Yeah, because they, they have the bounty on their head. It's not sure. a bad plan. Hey, Daz, do you have make... any, like, ranged stuff? 
Well, I suppose I have plenty of ranged things, but, you know, could you be a tad more specific? Because it would be kind of weird for a sea elf to be, you know, a guard, because they're a captive sea elves. So if we swap you and Ziggy, hold on, Mela swap with you, so Mela is now the prisoner, and you're now a guard, but then we swap you again with Ziggy, so that Ziggy is a guard, and you are the sniper. Do you have any snipey stuff? No, no, I uh, I don't really fool with all that kind of physical magic, you know, it's more of showmanship magic, really. Bleh. Um... Because it would make more sense for Ziggy to be a guard than for a sea elf, because, you know, right. he's a human or whatever. Who were the guards again? It was mm -hmm. going to be Mela and Vera. Mm. But if Mela is going to be a... Uh, I guess... Uh, they, could all, they could all be prisoners turning themselves in. Now, my disguise kit could be used on me, if not on Mila. And oh, I that's a good idea. Yeah. Be more, you know, ugly and humany. Or proper elfie. You're a sea elf. You're not that proper elfie, are ya? Yeah, we consider ourselves to be the fairest of all the elves, but. Yeah, pff, whatever. Make yourself other elfier. Uh, He's done it think, once before. I've been working on training Stardust to stand up. Maybe we could put him in some of the armor. He could be a guard. <laughs> I think we'll just with that. I do think that uh, myself as a sniper position is probably the best bet. I am uh, pretty good with a ranged attack, but I guess my question is, is there a is there a a, a, a route, a, a place, to, a, 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 a place to climb up that I can actually get a sniper position into the camp? Is there any sort of hillock or something that I can uh, climb up? Because like I can't really snipe through a brick wall. Can you stand on the brick wall? Um, Might be a bit obvious. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that. Though. That would be giving up. Well, I would think like once we get to the point where we're having to snipe people, we've kind of passed the stealth part, right? Or what's your long? Uh, sorry, short range on your longbow? Uh, my I can uh see. Uh, uh oh, also you don't have dark vision, so that would be a problem. I think doesn't I believe Mela gave me dark vision? I, I don't know how long that lasts. Yeah, or but how many people she for can give it hour. to? I can oh, give it to three people, hour. but well, I can recast it if I need to. We've definitely been discussing this plan for long. Yeah, I can recast it. Okay. Uh, yeah, dark vision might be handy if you want me to do some like long range attacks and stuff. Um, I do think that I could climb up the. I mean, I could try to climb up the wall and shoot from the top of the wall. We don't know if any of them have dark vision, though. Right. Yeah, have we fought any of the Draconians at night to know what their level of vision is? I don't recall. Don't think so. Oh, there wasn't Vogler, but there was all fires around, so that doesn't count. No, true. I'm less worried about how we're getting in, because even if we get caught, we're getting in. My worry is the escape plan. How are we getting out? There is only one way out. It's that bridge. Right. Great. I, mean, I could cover. It. I could cover the bridge, uh, such a way that, like, I'm covering escapes. I'm laying down arrow fire, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know how much that helps, though. Well, I say we go with the plan that we have and see what happens. If we die, we die. If we don't die, we figure a way out. On the fly. Uh, sounds good. I mean, who needs to stealth? I can I can make us super stealthy with just a, a little forest spell, I know. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good for me and Bellroom, because we're sneaky sneaking in. That was our plan. All right. Well, are we ready? I think it only lasts for an hour. Yeah, when we're ready to enact the plan, then cast it. Okay. Any objections? If we're ready to rock and roll. 
Okay, so Mela is prisoner. Das Chen, you, uh, do your disguisey thing and make yourself elfier or less elfy. I don't know. Um, Ziggy, get... you're still sniping. Yeah. Did I get the dragon army stuff out of the uh, uh, bag of holding? It takes right a while to put that on. Your turn. I'm still curious as to where I'm going to yeah, snipe um, from. DM is there You're giving possibly... ice. Like, is there a high ice. ground? Cover five. Oh. Wait, what? Is there some sort of, like, bluff or relatively nearby cliff that Ziggy could perch on to snipe from? Yeah, but the range of it is very... How far can you shoot without disadvantage? Uh, I mean, up to 150, and it says 600, but I believe that's... That's with disadvantage. disadvantage. So yeah. between 150 and 600, you have disadvantage. Right. Is there anywhere within 150 of the camp I can take position at? Not being disposed. Ew. Okay. So from the cliff tops, I told you all, all about 200 yards or feet away. So that's probably about the closest you have to have a perch and look in if you like, but you'd be at 200 feet. Then that's just like to the walls. I mean, should I start at 200 feet, knowing that it would take a bunch of turns to run up if it, if it became a if it became a life and death issue, or should I just try to get closer and just find a different place to be a sniper from? Maybe you could come with. What armor are you wearing? Do you have disadvantage on stealth? Me, no. If you come with me and Belrum, and sneaky sneak up into the tower with us. You can snipe from the tower once it's cleared. Uh, that sounds like a beautiful idea. I, I like that a lot better than, than being not sure of where I'm supposed to be. You can pass without a trace them too, so that all works mm -hmm. out. Yeah, well, well I, mm -hmm. I mean, we can. I can cast it on all of us for fun if we really feel yeah, like... The other needed. three need to not be stealth. <laughs> oh, specifically not. Okay, okay, all right. I got it now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that idea. We'll sneak into the big tower, and then I'll try to take a, a try to take a position uh, that will help be helpful to us if it, if things go south. Well, what about Stardust? I mean, it's uh, now three of us sneaking in, including a tall human. Well, and Stardust has a, a Stardust took him in your hand, right? Um, yeah, I don't know if we totally decided how much I can poof him in and out of existence. Uh, I think it takes an action to do so. Yeah. Um, so what we could... Does poofing make any noise? Like if you poofed him out at the top of the tower, would it attract attention? I don't think so. I think it just takes an action. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't specify. Yeah. I, I don't noise. think there's like a bamf noise or anything like that. Mm. Um, well, how about we keep, we'll, we'll keep Stardust under wraps for now. And if I need to... I'll consider taking an action to bring him in to, uh, to bring him out. That sounds good to me. Just yeah, Mela and Das Chen and Vera, you won't have the cover fire. I mean, you will, but like from Not inside instead of outside. Yeah. So Mela, are you going in as prisoner, or am I? I'm going as prisoner. Okay. Since she has a bounty on her head from them, they seem to be fascinated with holy magic. Oh. <laughs> all right. Make sure all my equipment's still on me with you mm. <laughs> swift handed little people. <laughs> <laughs> Evil laughter from the DM. <laughs> That was one thing I forgot to do today. Oh, well. I do still have someone's hunting trap, if anyone wants that back. <laughs> I, I kept thinking, yeah, I kept thinking of, like, what ways to use that. Then it disappeared. It was kind of nice that I didn't have to think of it. <laughs> I can hold on to it for you, then. I mean, it's like a full-on, like, 25-pound bear trap carrying around. Could I have the hunting trap? Yeah, if, definitely. Yeah. My thoughts are after dropping off Mila, I'll have some 
I'm sure that Vera and I are going to have to do something, so perhaps we can set that up somewhere around the camp. That would be opportunistic for us. Yeah, you have a 25-pound hunting trap now. Uh, yeah, just go manage your inventory. You can add it to your inventory. So what I have, what I'm tracking is Jastion is using his disguise skit on himself t- along with uh, one of the armor, so I'm assuming. To, I believe we had yeah. elf-shaped armor made. I mean, either way, you can, he's going to have to roll a performance check for his disguise kit, so I'll just add it all. It'll, I'll give him advantage with the uh, um, dragon armor. Dragon army armor. Uh, and then uh, Vera is the other one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you two are going down to bring Mela in. What is the other three individuals doing? Um, someone needs to turn me invisible. Oh shit, Ziggy won't be invis- invisible. Um, what? How good is your stealth, Ziggy? I have uh, invisible. My, st- my stealth is fine, plus I would have the pass without trace. Um, what's, what's your plus? So my general stealth is plus four. Okay, we cast invisibility on Ziggy. Bellroom, if you can remember how to, you turn invisible yourself, like you did to go scouting. And I have plus ten on stealth and advantage. Plus whatever pass without a trace gives me, so I'm invisible regardless. Uh, Plus ten. Yeah, so I have naturally plus twenty. So no matter what I roll, unless it's a one, I'm good. <laughs> Sounds good. Can we, uh, like, a quick huddle before we start as we're talking over this plan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By all so, means, go ahead. While I'm going to put some stuff. I'm going to cast motivational speech <laughs> and say that... Zero dust, Jen. All right, everyone. This is why we're here. This is what Ishvan wanted. This is what all of us need to do. Let's be clean about it. Let's fuck some shit up. Fuck some shit up. What? Isn't it what everyone wants to do? Because you said you weren't here to get uh, the elves. I mean, it's here here now. uh... But I am here. And and here is precisely where I mean to be right now. I'm just hoping he doesn't bug off at the worst time because he's only here for his flute. Well, as long as it's a loot. Thank you. Ah. Oh, loot. Same thing. <laughs> One just has an F in it. Better than this dingy old thing. <laughs> and break. I'll go ahead and cast. Well, that's motivational um, speech, so plus five temp health for an hour. Ooh, lovely. Plus five what? Temp health. Temporary temp health. health. Oh, okay, cool. Just remember, those don't stack if you get them from somewhere else. Get any more from somewhere else, you already have 10 pets. Just remember, they don't stack. I'm going to go ahead and recast um, Eyes of Night on the three who don't have dark vision. <coughs> so me, Ziggy, Vera? Mm-hmm. And that's not a concentration, right? Nope. Okay. It just lasts for an hour. All right. And what? Uh, that lasts for an hour, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Ray, so again, recap for my essay. We have Mela being escorted by Dashin disguised and Vera disguised. So what I need is Dashin and Vera to give me a performance performance check. check. Sure. And Ziggy cast a pass without a trace. Yeah. And somebody turns Ziggy invisible. Twenty-four. Is this just a flat performance? Yeah. Twenty-four. Wow. Eleven. Supporting roll. Good. Uh, uh, you rolled that with advantage, didn't you? No. Oh. You said not with advantage, didn't you? Oh. Well, you dressing up in dragon armor. So yeah, go ahead and you can have advantage for that. QDM, however that works. Hearts. 16. All right. 
And That's much easier. Ziggy is invisible. Uh, uh, Melee made Ziggy invisible, so Melee, you're concentrating on invisibility, right? I don't have invisibility. Was I can Dunstan see invisibility. The one with invisibility? I do have invisibility. Would you be able to cast that on Ziggy, please? <clears throat> yes. It lasts for 10 minutes, right? No, less an hour. No, concentration for an hour. Concentration for an hour. Casting now. Thank you. And how I imagine it is, these three walk up towards the fort, and we are lingering sort of behind invisible slash 20, plus 20 to stealth. Plus 20 to stealth? Mm-hmm. How you get a plus 20? Pass without a trace, plus 10, and my stealth, plus 10. Oh, it's, it's going to be a group check, so everybody's doing it. Yeah, I know, I'm just like explaining the scene okay. if that's okay are you i need to know when you're starting to go behind them i imagine we all go sort of together yeah we have to wait for them to get distracted first and then while they're dealing with this the three we people need to be they close can by see, so that when there's an opportunity gonna, we can sneak like, in yeah we're gonna kind of behind them if we're where we are on the screen right now i turn to mila and I say for Mila to kind of act as if she's struggling. Oh, I like it. <laughs> nice. I can make adjustments with this, so. And it doesn't fit the one on stream, so. And then I'm going to shout into the camp. Get back here, you little bugger. Someone come out here and help me with this. Well, before, before y'all even get there, I'll just place your miniature, so. Um, as y'all starting to approach, you hear from the tower. And you hear her shouting down. Looks like some of our own is coming back. Gods, be on the lookout. And then go ahead, dashing as you're approaching. So I'm going to, uh, again, kind of like tug on the rope that we're, are we binding her? Yeah, you do discuss if you're binding her. Yeah. <laughs> you got to start thinking about this. Right now, she's not bound. How about, she's, we're we're, we're going to quickly wrap the front, but she's holding both ends of the rope in her hands so that okay. she could drop it to lose the rope. But uh, she's just holding that up front. Melee, and, give me uh, a sleight of hand check. Okay. And this is just mainly to see if they can see that it's not properly tied. 19. Very nice. We're on natural three. They don't give a shit about your rope. <coughs> As you're approaching. I suck. Yeah. Uh, any any of you, draconic? yeah, does any of you speak draconic? <laughs> the prisoner <laughs> speaks draconic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ziggy, don't, Ziggy, I think you're the only one that does. <laughs> and he's currently I, I invisible do. and sneaking. <laughs> mm -hmm. I also know draconic. Oh. Hey. Yeah, just... but that's the prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> can I, I mean, I, I could try and whisper like... what they're saying. Or person back message? at them or something. I don't. Somebody had message. Des? Uh, yes, I, I do you have message. You can, like, message, what did they say? So, Maylee, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to message you what they say, and I want you to decipher on your on what you're going to do. Okay. Going great. Going great. <laughs> Didn't even roll anything. Going great. <laughs> I'm going to ignore the guards at the moment and act like I'm going for Mela since she's supposed to be struggling. 
I'm distracted. I'm not listening to them. <laughs> I'll say just really loudly um, in common, I guess, get off of me, you stinking dragon god! <clears throat> and try to push against whoever is, I guess, uh, Vera, since she's much closer to my height. I'm <laughs> trying to get away from her. Uh, Dashin and Vera, the uh, three guards. I, I should also d d describe them. So two of the guards are ones you fought before. Um, are the, the the little green looking guys that uh, turn you into stone. And there's a massive one in the back. You type creature you've not seen before. It's about the size of the ones you've seen before, but something about him is different. He's not the full silver ones that you've seen before. And they look at you, or the big one looks at you, it's like uh, you and Dash and, or Dash and Vera. It's like, rock, you, rock, you, rock, you, rock. I'm going to reiterate, don't just stand there. Come help us with her. It's a prisoner. Open the gates. <laughs> And he says, uh, I fall into Carrie so that she just automatically has to grab me. I think you mean Vera? Sorry, Vera. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> See, I'm not the I only one that does me. it. I swear. <laughs> Maybe it's just the shortened names that we're all using. Plus four old Kendas. <laughs> Uh, I will take her cue and, and <laughs> grab her. So what are you doing? You're falling into her and saying what? I'm um, not saying anything right the second, but she I fall into her in such a way that she sort of has to grab onto me. Otherwise, uh -huh. like, I might fall over or something. Um, and then I don't know if I'd be able to, like, whisper really quickly, um, say... <laughs> And it means like help Say us. What? You you broke up there for a In second. In draconic, sorry. <laughs> and like draconic, just help us. And I don't know how to say it. I'm just making stuff up, but <laughs> what the sound might be, but help us in draconic. Um just to tell like trying to intently look into her eyes. <laughs> Give me a slide of or uh, stealth check slide, stealth check. Stealth? Okay. You could have just spoken to me in kinder. We are both seventeen. Kinder. Seventeen. Seventeen total. Yeah. Russia, Russia, what? I will try to copy as Mela said, and trying to speak very. Broken draconic for them to help me. Yeah, okay, I'll sort of murmur out of the corner of my mouth. They're not going to open the gate. <clears throat> I'm going right, to cast sure. universal you guys don't need You guys don't need any of the the money with the is for for this girl here. We're just going to take her back. Is that is that what this is? Why is she telling you our native tongue that you should know? Do I look draconic to you? You're part I'm of I'm hired our... help. I'm hired help. I'm a kinder. Hi I don't know what the heck you just said. Hired help, you're wearing our armor. We don't just give the armor out to people. You should be able to talk our talk. Give me a deception check with disadvantage. Fifteen. Inside is a uh, perception, right? Or, I mean, yeah. uh, intelligence. Uh, yeah. It Wisdom. Oh, wisdom? I think it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? 
Uh, you're right. We don't usually get much kendo. We actually have one caged up. Interesting. Why? Huh. Did they have anything interesting on them? What do you mean, interesting? The kinder. We. What do you mean? I was asking you any particular like thing you're looking for. I mean, particularly, just probably something interesting, shiny, sparkly. Eh. We just tucked a bag. Uh, they tucked the bag. I don't know what they had in there. Uh, we just found them scouring the waste. Well, let's get this one locked up, and then we'll take a look, eh? Why are you not talking to our tongue? Uh, I cast universal speech, and then I'll change the complexion of my voice. Um, I pick those three targets, by the way, for the five targets that universal speech allows. What does universal uh, speech do? And is it for somatic or verbal or what? As an action, choose five creatures within 60 feet. The chosen creatures can magically understand you regardless of the language you speak for one hour. Once you use it, though, you may not do so again until a long rest. So I don't understand them unless they speak in common, but but they can understand me, which is why I'm going to shift my inflection of the voice to say. Um, so what I need to know, is it verbal and somatic for your spell? Does it require any components? Because you are casting this in front of them. So I'm trying to see uh, how much they would notice. It just says it's a feature. A sixth level College of Eloquence feature. Uh, it uh, is... It's not a spell, it's a... Oh, it's a feat? Bard thing, a feature yeah. Bar. It's a bard thing. Where is that? Um, oh, Universal Speech. Alright. Uh, uh, as an action... Okay, well, I thought it was a spell. Okay, got it. Well, we'll disregard that. We'll just say you can inherently do it and mutter whatever you can do. Because I guess it's with your body. We'll, we'll say that you're able to do that. So you're saying that you're talk, you making your voice sound like a draconic? Uh, no, I'm just shifting my my tone to better correlate why now they can understand anything that I'm, I mean, I realize they can speak common now, but yeah. since they're questioning my language speak, I'm using this and I'm just going to change the inflection at which I'm speaking to say, um, let us put this prisoner behind bars or your superiors will hear about this. The best way I can describe uh, it is like me. taking a dad voice in the moment. All right. Uh, so give me an investi or sorry, a persuasion check with advantage. First one's a fourteen. Advantage roll is a twenty-four. Well, I got a natural 19, but it does not beat your 24. All right, fine. Uh, take her, put her in the cells. Report to... Where did he go? That is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... Oh, um, report to Yota. <laughs> he is the jailer. And as the gates roll up, what is everybody else doing? I imagine the invisibles are uh, running in as soon as there's a little opening. Yeah, give me a uh, stealth check with advantage. Everyone? The invisible one. No, the uh, jailer's name, or how you spell it, is U-R-T-A. I 
Uh, what did you and roll? What do you want me to roll? Oh. It's whoever's invisible, roll a stealth check with the advantage, and who's not invisible, roll me a stealth check. Straight roll. 19. Plus 10 for, um, possible without a trace. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. Oh, 29. Is the 18 then plus 10, so make it a total of 28? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. That's so, that, yeah, that would okay. be 28. Sorry. Very glad y'all did that, the pass out trace, because the DC is 19. So, On you, Ziggy. See, you're useful. <laughs> so describe me how you are coming up with your stealthy. So I'm assuming the invisible one just runs in the gate. What about everybody else? Because you're not just... I'm, a, I'm imagining y'all not going through the gate right now because they can still see you. So, I'm, so it's a, describe me where you're going and what you're doing. The other two that are not invisible. Bellarim, are you invisible? I, I don't know why you keep, I mean. Out of are character, you are you calling, invisible? Oh, out of character? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Um, it's because I, yeah, and Bellarim doesn't know that because he doesn't think he was invisible before. Yeah, Yay. yeah, yeah. Ignorance Yay. is bliss. Magic. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but I can't see the, well, I. No, I can't even see you. I don't see anybody. We would have talked you about know. it before what we're going to do. So Ziggy zips through the gate. Uh, me and Bellroom, I guess, will scale the wall like Bellroom did before. With the handholds. So, Alright, so what part of the uh, gate you're going to, or wall, I'm sorry, you're going to try to scale? From what we see on our battle cam, I'd say, like, where there's four tents to the south of the map. So here? Yeah. yeah I think I think that you told me I went sort to the left to side. Around. You went to the right. less mud there. Or I went to the right? Yeah, you went over here for when you initially uh, went over here. I'd say we go back the way that I went before. Well, you didn't actually go in. You just went to the top and like stealthed in. But uh, you you saw because you went over there by where the big tin is. That's how you saw that uh, goblinoid go into the big tin. Mm, mm, That's right. That's right. Our focus first is the tower, though, right? To take out the scouts. Yes, we said we would do that. I propose. I propose we go to the south tents and scout, uh, sneak around those, so that we're staying out of line of sight. And then sneak around to the tower and sneak up. Okay. We're we're not going to set it on fire, right? Not yet. Ziggy? Soon. Uh, no, not immediately. So yeah, we'd probably go between... Now, after our group has this. entered, we can attempt to make the guards turn around to help this endeavor over the wall. Or well, I'm just trying to say right now to figure out where they're entering at. Because they, this, this invisible one I get. So, if, if Ziggy, go ahead and make me a stealth check with advantage. Well, you already did, didn't you? Never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it was, it was a point. group stealth, but... Where do you want to go, Ziggy? Um, well, I believe that our plan was to try to infiltrate the tower. So you're going to go to the tower? Uh, so, yeah, I was going to head in that direction. So on the back side of here, there is a door if you want to go investigate. Yeah, door. we're going to try to sneak through, sneak around, sneak, 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 sneak past any guards, sneak up into the tower. All right, what I need... Uh, I didn't write it down. I should have did it. So we're not in combat. So we need to let me go through real quick. Uh, Ziggy, was your out of combat initial? You said you had a 14. Uh, yeah, I rolled 14 earlier. Yeah. Uh, Dashin, what'd you roll? Three. Three. Bellroom? 
your d20? Yeah, hold on. Rolling a no. Oh, Nine. Nine, okay. Vera? One, I need right? Spell? No, no, this is your d20s, because we're not in combat, so I'm going to use it out of combat. That was a two. Oh, you had a two. Mela, you had a... Twelve, and then a one. I ain't worried about the one. Carrie? Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, cool. So right now, so Ziggy, that is your, we'll, we'll do a kind of like, it's not in combat. I'm going to use our combat initiatives that you pre-roll for stuff like this so that we can keep it somewhat orderly so we're not rolling around getting all combined. Keep it some kind of formulation. So it looks like Carrie and Ziggy, Ziggy just started heading towards the tower with his roll. Carrie, uh, where are you headed? Yeah, I think me and Belram are going to scale the wall in the south cluster of tents between the two right-hand tents on the map, if that makes sense. Okay. Give me a... Uh, Give me acrobatics. Can I use acrobatics? Yeah, you can use acrobatics. Do you want me to just tell you what? Uh, no, too you loud. Up? So too long, loud. <laughs> Thank you, Clinton Ray, for a subscription. You can give some, or you can give somebody an advantage with your subscription. You just can't give it to yourself. Himself. Oh. <laughs> Who would you like to give if it? If I can't have it, then I assume no one else deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. um, give it to Carrie. Carrie. Oh, thank you. So we can. Carrie can add advantage. Thank you for the prime sub. Ads are only 30 seconds once per hour, so they're not that bad. <laughs> I'd, I'd turn them down to the lowest possible because I hate ads myself. Uh, what did you get for your acrobatics check, Carrie? 27. 27. Where did I, I just had your mini. Where did I just set it? Like, literally just had your mini. There it is. She did. Uh, you want to scale probably about right here's where... Oh, no, no. South side. South side. That is the south side. Okay, uh, north side, toward the camera. The, right. Which camera are you talking about? The one that I am looking at in um, Zoom. Oh, so... I thought y'all were going to go where Bill went up initially. Well, I want to sneak around the back of these tents so that we can go in the back door. There's no back door. She the means wall. the back to door the... to the tower. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to come over here. Yeah. Yeah, between those two tents. Just for your essay, I'm going to put you all right here. Uh, anybody that's going through here is rough terrain, so your movement is slowed. And since you're a little kinder, only about three feet high, you're like up to your chest in mud. Okay. Which is, which is in a sense helping you stealth up. <laughs> Bellroom, where are you going? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm you're with going her, right? with, yeah. yeah. You're, you're in kind of the same situation. Let me move it back so you can, I can see. Except I can see higher than she can. <laughs> All right. Well, let me move this camera over too so artists can kind of see what we're doing. This part of the map. All right. Kind of went out of turn there. Uh, we'll stick with the, this group at the same time. Y'all going so. Uh, as y'all enter in, they open the gate. Well, they had already opened the gate. I'm not going to bother. I guess I could. But that doesn't destroy everything. Woohoo, yay. They open the gate. They bring, they instruct you to start walking towards the cages. Are you walking towards the cages? I'm assuming. No, I'm fucking this up right away. I think. I'll get about right there. Once you come through, they shut the gate. Can I give a look around to see if that horn earlier woke too many people from the tent? 
Doesn't seem like it. If you would like to roll a history check, you can. Because you were at the Will Will Watch outpost where the other had horns. Uh, flat ten. I will say this: the sound of the horn had a different tone. Give Kayla a shout out. She's in chat. Just saw her message. All right. Uh, so that's about where you go. We'll return back to Ziggy. Um, I'm going to continue trying to infiltrate the tower. All right. Uh, you, how you, are you so you're just going to open the door? Or how you doing the door? Uh, I mean, are you just busting in there, letting if anybody's in there. No, right. I mean, no, I, I don't uh, know. I'm still invisible and I'm going to uh, sneak stealthily up to the door and listen at the door and see if they're here uh, grunting or, uh, you know, carrying on drinking whatever give me a perception check sure uh i got a 22 um 22 perception you don't really hear much at all you can probably hear some like uh from actually on the outside you can probably hear them talking up top they're talking in uh, Draconic, actually, so you can actually hear. Can I understand what they're saying? You, they're basically, you basically hear them talking to Monster Cells, like small outer chatter. I was like, I don't know why they're coming in the middle of the damn night, drop off a prisoner. Right, right. Type shit. This is the, I'm hearing this from the roof, not yeah, yeah. the room. Yeah, okay. Go. Not the room. But that's is it windy? Like, is it a windy night or anything? No. No. Uh. Actually, let me check. Oh, yeah, you have the weather dust. Just an overcast. Sandstorm. Overcast. Just a nice little overcast. So, what little light you have is fading between the clouds and stuff. So, from the stars. All right. What if I tried to just nudge the door open slightly while making a wind noise? But there's no wind. But like I'm making the noise of the wind so that they might think it's wind. Just roll me stealth check to see if they hear it. Um, advantage? Uh, uh, let's see. I did uh, uh, 18. If I'm still passed without trace, I'm at 28 stealth. Yeah. They're both. Well, actually, I got a, there's a third one. Sit sits in a five on natural dice, so since they're talking to musty cells, they don't notice the door even opening. All or right. the I... strange sound of invisible wind. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, they're uh, talking to musty cells while looking out. No. They're not paying attention to below them. There's their friendlies down below, you know? They don't care. Well, then I will stealthily slip into the doorway and slip inside. As you slip inside... As you slip inside. Surprise, dragon. Yeah. It's a big tower underneath. Like, you probably see a few containers and stuff. You can also, it says, like, kind of a storage place, whatever, for some camping supplies type stuff. But there's a massive ladder that goes all the way to the top. You can gather oh, that's okay. the way you get up and the only way you get right. down. There's nothing else, like, inside the tower? It's uh, just like bottom, an open space with a big ladder. Open space like boxes and, said, and storage stuff. Like there's some mm -hmm. barrels, there's some boxes and stuff, and then mm -hmm. there's a big ladder goes straight up. You gather this so it's like made for one single purpose to be a watchtower. Right. It doesn't have it. levels or anything, it has a straight ladder to the top. How many people were on top? Uh, what you initially saw was three. Jeez. 
it's a lot to take care of by myself. Do I know where Bellroom and Carrie are? Or are we all like invisible? Did y'all have that conversation where y'all went? I don't think so. So you don't know where they're at right now. But the plan is to attack together. Yes. Right. Well, you're no longer together, so no more talking. We move. That on. is the plan, though. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll move over to Carrie and Bellroom. Right, we have Bellroom. scaled the wall. We're on the All other right. side now. Uh, you already did your acrobatics chest to scale, right? I did, yeah. Did you use the one Bellroom? I'm rolling it right now. Do you want to... That would be a natural one. It's begun. <laughs> so, so I want to clarify, you want to come like closer here or over here? Well, you know what? I, I think this is the time. You muted yourself by uh, talking. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> I was saying, I think it's time for that DM's inspiration to finally be used up here and yeah. uh, re-roll that. <laughs> you also have a re-roll and a DM's inspiration to re-roll it. But you huh. can use right. you, you can use Yeah, DM's or... insp. Okay. DM's insp. That's better. It's not. It's it's a non one, but it's only an eight. But it's a non. Right. What? Son of a gun. Yeah, I was thinking between the right hand tents. Oh wait, this the is the camera. stone wall, right? That mm -hmm. I'm climbing. Yeah. So, how does my dwarven natural ability with stone fall in here? Uh, extra. Hold on. Let me read. I know you know like more about. Stuff yeah, I don't think it'll help. Uh, I mean, we're just climbing the wall, so I don't think it's going to do anything. Yeah, it, it's I'll, I'll, I'll give you an advantage because you're are the what you are. Um, if you like, All right. you are a dwarf. Do you want to move in on the east side of the tents or the other side of tents? Uh, uh, we'll go to the first am... one. There so you go. You what she come said. in over here closer to the ones at the gates? No, other one. So over here. And that's going to be a 12, by the way. Yeah, you're able to get over to barely. All right. That's your movement to get in. You got, just to let you know, you got fucking mud all over you. <laughs> that's all right. Yep. Natural camouflage. Sure. Look at it that way. <laughs> all right. Uh, you guys start. Get huh? Action? Your action was the climb. Okay. Bonus action, dash. Oh, Eat so my you... dust, Bellroom! <laughs> Where you want to try <laughs> to move to and give me another set of stealth checks. I'm starting to move towards the tower. Alright, give me another set of stealth checks. Oof, that is double natural one. For a total of 21. Total 21 still? But they're both natural one. So natural Reroll ones that. and natural 20s are really for combat, right? So okay. natural ones are critical failures. You and... are a kind, kind DM. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. that. <laughs> I, see, that's, the, that's if you look at the rules, natural ones and natural 20s are for combat. Combat. <laughs> yep. Okay. Meaning there's no modifiers I'll take it. for that's, the one. That's 21. 21 stealth. Uh, but even because 21 stealth, you're still able to sneak around. But for flavor wise, you can flavor your natural one. So we'll do this it's as you're as you're diving or from the mud. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, kind of, but very quiet, but. Audible. I was going for more of as you're trying to dash, you just kind of like fall, but you fall behind the tent, and the guys they turn around like it's just the wind. Since you know somebody brought up wind earlier, but yeah, the highest they rolled was a 14 on the die, so it wasn't quite a 21. Uh, all right, uh, which I will say because you dashed. Yeah, 30 feet, right? Yes. I 
would say you're probably trying to go over here. How about this? So it makes you feel better. You're prone because you fell down. Okay. But you're not detected. <laughs> Sweet. Right, Saying so... you're a kind DM was not was not like a put down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so that was your action. The action is to climb. That was your bonus action to dash. Bellroom, you see, Carrie just kind of in trick, kind of maybe tripped on the rock or something. Just kind of died forward, and you see the big brute guy that back up. You doing anything, Bellroom? Mm, do I see her, like, sit back, uh, stand up, sit up, no, or just, just literally wrong. just fall? She literally just falls. I will next turn. I am. You can probably see me like starting to write myself. Yeah, I, I am. I mean, add Z in hand. I'm gonna just stand over her in case something comes charging at her until she gets up. We move on to our people moving to the prisoner cages. Stop dragging your feet, prisoner. Get about 30. If y'all want to dash, you can move faster. Nope, I drag my feet. Okay. Try to pull against them. <laughs> Do we okay. see any more details about the prisoners as we approach? No, I'm the hell over here. Uh, so you're on the other side of the tower. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. uh, so you're at the top on the side of the tower. It's about as far as you get for your regular movement. You can start seeing there is a few guards inside. As you're moving towards there. That help? Oh, yeah, move you guys. Alrighty. Alrighty, uh, since she's dragging her feet, that's about as far as y'all get for your movement. Y'all want to do any actions, or what do y'all want to do for your actions and bonus actions? Yeah, oh, uh, what? Yeah, uh, if you want to use your perception check, you can try to get more. You said you were trying to look at the prisoner, you don't get a good shot of prisoners from this angle, but you do get a good shot of those uh, guards that you see. Destin. No one else is paying yeah. attention to us, though? No, they don't give a shit. You're let in. You're bringing a prisoner. Hmm. So far, the plan seems to be working. I'm going to whisper to Vera, uh, do we really need to turn her in if, you know, like we're already in the gate. Do we, do we have to follow through with putting her in the cage? Do those guards right there next to the cage, are they watching us? Oh, we're, they're watching y'all as y'all approach. Yeah. You talking about the guards at the cages? Yeah. Does that help? Is that better? Between, yeah, that's fine. We can also see it on the yeah, stream. Yeah, we can toggle back and forth between looking at the stream and looking over okay. here so you don't have to keep moving the camera. Yeah, I got I got two computers on. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I know the stream is delayed too, so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that's y'all. So we come back to the top of the round. Ziggy, what are you doing? You're in the tower looking up at the big ladder, the wooden ladder is going all the way up. Um, and then, like I said, you have some barrels and uh, crates and stuff that could be storage, some, some sort of storage or something. Keep in mind, right. it's only been about six seconds since you entered, so... Right, right. Um, yeah, I want to coordinate my attack with anybody. I have not heard anything that seems to make me think it's time to attack. Yeah. But Did I'm still invisible. The door behind you? I shouldn't ask that. Did you leave it open? Uh, I think I'm trying to make as little noise as possible, but I probably close it very carefully behind me because I don't want anyone walking by and seeing the door ajar. Got it. All right, so it's closed. Yeah. Um, it, I would imagine, so, like, while I'm still invisible, if I climbed up onto the roof now, it would be me and three people occupying a very small space together. It's 20 by 20 area, minus the opening for the ladder, so. Um, I just don't know, like, if we got into battle suddenly, if I would be able to take three people by myself up there. A little better shot of the roof, if that helps. Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay invisible. What my I'm thinking my plan is the moment we decide to drop an ambush, I'm gonna attempt to push one of the guys while invisible, push him off the thing. Obviously, becoming visible at that point. So I, I'm only fighting two guys. So you want to go to the top right now? Let's see what's up there. Yeah, I'm very careful. Give me a stealth check climbing up. Because you're still making noise. All right. I did 23 plus 10. So 33. 33? Yes. As you get up to the top, uh, they're all looking out in three different uh, locations. And they're just kind of talking to each other. Like, every so often looking towards one another. Just kind of talking. But the main focus is out because they're looking out. They're not looking inward, so. But do you get up there? Should I even bother rolling? Well, I got a natural 20, but you got a 31. Yeah. Um, nothing, like, you, I hear some, like, some noises and stuff, but nothing they don't deem unnatural for the environment. All right. Well, I'm going to assume that's my action. I'm going to be poised and ready okay. for when something happens. All righty. Uh, we move on to Mela and Belrum. I'm sorry, not Mela. Uh, Car Carrie and Belrum. Thank you. Yep, I'll keep moving towards the tower. And right with her. Uh, it's half your moment, carry to get up. Yep. Uh, I'd like to use my bonus action to activate my boots of speed. Give me a perception check while you're there. Perception check? While you're behind this tent. Eleven. That's not hard, you hear. <laughs> Some may, a couple, like, Someone snoring? A couple of people snoring inside the tent. Mm-hmm. You want to keep moving? Yep. And I clicked my boots of speed, so I should have normal 30 foot now. That's about 30 feet right there. Bill, are you following along? I am. Yeah, 35 or 30? 35. Uh, stealth check, guys. 
you are now approaching a tower. Thankfully, you know, there was more focus. We there. still have plus 10, right? So 18. 18. 37. Jeez. Uh, so the best they got was a 12 on the roll. So, yeah, you guys are still good as you're approaching the tower. That's your movement. Your action was to do a boost of speed. Bell, and what's your action? Um, I right. assume boots of speed moves faster than my 35, right? Well, yeah, because I used half my off. movement to stand up, so it evened it out. Okay. So you can use your hmm. action to dash to move ahead if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna. I got to keep up with her. I mean, you're right behind her right now. So, but you can move ahead of her. Mm, no, I'm not going to move ahead of her. We've got to stay together. Okay. We'll move to our uh, our people. And she's dragging her feet still, so. Uh, Jugan, are we uh, at least like uh, a mile uh, away from the the cliff that we started out on? A mile? Mm-hmm. You're about two hundred feet away, so I don't know if that is a mile. I don't I don't do mathing well. Is that a mile? No, a mile's like two thousand feet. Oh yeah, Five, yeah. yeah I, I was making 5, sure because uh, I never dismissed uh, Hydrin, so and that's where I left him. So I'm just going to telepathically tell him to stay there in All case right. we do need him. All right. So you can communicate to him within a mile. Is that what you're trying to say? Within a All mile. Right. I was waiting for some crazy ability you might have that I forgot about. <laughs> oh, no, no. As you're I just approaching, remembered I had him out. As you're approaching again. I shot. What? Ah, this shit again. I'll respond in common. We need Ertar. We've got a prisoner here. Thought that'd be obvious. Why are you not speaking in your native tongue? This are you my, my superior? Native. I don't need to tell you. Well, who do you have? Sorry, Dash and I talked to everyone. Oh, you're good. We've got this crafty kinder by the name of... I hope they have her name, but I'm going with it. By the name of Mila here. Turning her in for the bounty, we are. Ah. They're going to roll some insight checks on you. Or the one that's the, the jailer. Would that be a... Check that he has to make. Deception check. Yeah. They're citing and uh, need a deception check from Dashton. Nineteen. I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, I need another tab. You said what? How much? Nineteen. One nine. They rolled natural four, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to beat that, so. Ah. Well, uh. Where is. Uh. His name. Erta? No. That's the jailer. Uh, Zerok, uh, be very interested in questioning this one in the morning. Let's go ahead and put him in the cage with the other two sea elves. Got some I'm sea just... elves, do you? Anyone of importance? What's it to you? Well, just a group of them been giving us trouble while we was out there. Some provided 
refuge for this one. Got a bone to pick with some of them. Yeah, we pit them up. I mean, you mind if I have a look at them then? <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. Fourteen. Fourteen. So he looks at you and says, "To for those you take, you put in your prisoner, but." I don't know you, and I cannot let you get that close. But well, if you want to turn over your friend now, you're more than welcome to our ale, one of our tents. You can spend the night. I would also like to make as many mental notes about his appearance as possible. Okay. That's what I was trying to get. Yeah, we're spending the night. We haven't been paid yet. Uh, our, our leader here will pay you, and he's in bed, so you'll get your money in the morning. Sounds good to me. <sighs> All right. Uh... Oh, I hit the wrong button. There you go. Uh, so you... Are you talking about the jailer? Uh, he is... Uh, give me a, a nature check. Or survival check. Or, I don't know. What's a good one for detect, like, races and shit? Insight? No, nah, insight's more talking. But like, maybe perception? Nah, if it's a magical race, then maybe... It's not. Arcana? If it's I'll a magical race, Arcana. But if it's a normal race, probably just I deception. Usually, usually just go for history. But uh, What'd you get? Well, which one do you want me to roll? Nature? Yes. Do survival. Should be fine. Fuck it. Uh, unnatural 20. 16 plus 4. Yeah, uh... Even though you don't come up on the land, yeah, this is kind of what I was getting to. You didn't, your character doesn't spend a lot of time on land, but uh, you do know these are what you call hop goblins. This particular one uh, is wearing plate and has a shield. I'm sorry, wrong one. I just gave you all free information. Uh, half plate has definitely a, like a half plate armor on and he has a couple uh, he has a great sword and a javelin like strapped to his back but uh, that's what he looks like he uh, he's red skinned obviously so And now that we're up close, there's a total of three guards, including the jailer. Three guards, including j no four, four, four including the jailer. Yeah. Okay. The other three are like the ones you saw at the gate: the green skin, dragonoid bodies, the ones that you haven't. I don't know if you encountered them. Have you? I don't know, but that turns uh, people into stone when they die. But I don't think you're in, you have encountered them yet. So. Now that we're this close, can we see what big creature is in one of these cages? That Give me a nature of? check. Oh, no. I should stop asking for ones that I'm flat on. Oh, well, flat 19. Uh, you remember reading in your studies as a... Uh, um, uh, paladin and you know advice of your different aspects of your training uh, you swore you probably read something like type of creature you've seen this is definitely a large monstrosity this something that starts with a B something you can't quite get the grasp of what it is but definitely remember reading something about this you do know it likes to barrow if it has a chance hmm Okay, I know what that is, but I'm not going to say it out loud if I'm not supposed to know it yet. 
Your character doesn't know exactly what it is. I don't give a shit about the player. Okay. Uh, so you're allowing them to take Mela? I had kind of thought we were walking her to the cage. No, no, they they taken her from you. They're not. They didn't want us that close. Remember? Yeah. So, you're you didn't roll high enough for your persuasion check. So. So uh, the current thing is they uh, wanting to take Mila from you like a turnover right now, and then they offered you ale, one of the tents to sleep in. And they said you'll get paid in the morning by the leader. So what are y'all doing? Y'all allowing that to happen? Dash and Vera. Mela, yeah. how do, how does Mela look? Does she seem not okay with this? I don't know. Mela's have to answer that. I give a subtle nod that kind of looks like I'm just looking down, but kind of looking side eye at Vera. Uh, that cage looks kind of full. I thought they said that they caught a kinder as well. Can't we put her in the one with the kinder? That was uh, Vera talking to the guard, by the way. They ignore you and just take her and put her in the cage with the two seals because the the one that the kinder is in is already small and they're not going to put two kinders together. So I, and you do hear as he turns out, it's not every day a kinder captures another kinder. This is a weird, weird day or night, but uh, the tents are yours and you can go have a drink. And Mela, they get toss you in to a cage where I don't see if they even wake up. Oh, no, they trance, so. And you see it, uh, two, let's see. Uh, I guess I should describe this. So four depleted iron pins hold prisoners of the dragon army. Bloodstains splatter the ground beneath and around the cages. You get tossed into uh, one of the cages that has two sea elves and they're with inside so uh, you can either have an interaction with them when it comes back to your turn so if you like uh, with uh, top around Ziggy what are you doing um, can I see the cases and stuff from the tower oh yeah uh, now you're up here looking around yeah you're surprised and you're wondering how the hell y'all got down here because you can see like pretty much everything yeah uh okay great um well i'm still kind of waiting for my team a little bit i'm gonna take the moment to try to identify some of the creatures using my advanced creature knowledge uh identify some of the creatures in the cages there there's only one creature are you trying to Oh, I thought there was a couple. Okay, well, I'll uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take a closer look uh, at that guy. Above table, there uh, there was two CLs. Uh, a kinder and the creature. Yeah. Yeah. And one empty cage. Not one empty cage at all. Let's see. Cages. Uh. uh maybe it was one. Combine two cages combined. Oh, there's a cage that has two in there, and another one, another cage has one CL by himself. Mm -hmm. The other cage has the kinder by himself, or has the kinder by themselves. Uh, the cage that had the two CLs in it, which they just put Mela in, and the other cage is a had contains a very large creature, it's the closest to the tower. 
and the the cage with the very large creature that creature's by itself like it's gonna sure. stay locked in the cage we don't have to like sneak a sneak see how fast them or anything the creature yeah it's it by is, itself it's locked up by itself yeah okay uh well i'd like i mean i'd like to i guess identify the creature see if i can uh if the geek's gonna use his vast knowledge of nature and monsters and whatever all right, so roll me a his, uh, nature check. Um, 13. Even though you're a high tower, uh, the cages is blocking distinct features of this creature. You can't quite get a good grasp of it or something. All you basically see, it has like a big, like almost like frog-like mouth in the front. I still don't know what it is. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 it's nighttime, I... so you can't really distinguish too much of the colors with that roll. Sure. Either. So, there, I since you got close, I should say that the back is more of a bluish type s scales, and underneath is more of a tan. Huh. Um, so, I can see our people i can see their people uh from the tower uh, i'll throw Do a photo of it for contents for the players in dragonlands uh disc in the discord all right i'm just gonna scan around and see if there's any like guards or anything we didn't see before like is there an extra oh there's three guys over there by the cells or something to that effect yeah, the rest of the rest of the cages has the CLs and um, the Kinder, and if you're looking in that direction, you can see that they put uh, Mela in one of the cages. All right, all right. We'll move on to Kiri and Belrum. What are you doing? Moving on up. Moving on up to to the east side. To Talent. a deluxe apartment in the sky. Technically, I think it is. No, it's the west side. Technically, this is the west side. <laughs> well, change your map, darn it. Make it fit the song. <laughs> All right, you going into the door, or y'all just? Uh, are yes, I will very, well, very in? stealthily open it. All right, roll a stealth check. <laughs> Ziggy, you can roll a perception check, too. 36. I don't think it matters, Ziggy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 17. <laughs> nope. uh, without hesitation, Bellarm, you see, like, uh, a carry just go... It doesn't make a noise. You don't hear anything. You swear that door might open on his arm. Bellarm is in absolute just like whoa <laughs> that's so cool i'm assuming y'all go inside mm -hmm. all right uh, again sneaky you see sneak is so good <laughs> carrie you've got to show me how to do that as y'all enter the k or cage <laughs> enter the tower you see the same thing that uh ziggy saw a bunch of crates some barrels could be a Oh, excuse me, L or whatever, and you see a large or, or a tall ladder going straight to the top. Do you close the door behind you, leave it open? What do you want to do? Close it behind. All right. I don't even bother having you roll. We should burn the ladder. Then they can't come down, and they're trapped. But see, they're still up there, so we should just climb up and kill them. But, it's but if they look down, they'll see us. Mm. Bella, roll me a stealth check if you're trying to talk to her. And you, you, uh, Carrie, you can roll me another stealth check too. Mm -hmm. 12. Plus 10? Uh, 22. 22. It's 36 again. Oh my god, 36. Hey, Ziggy, you want to roll the perception checks? See if you can. Best chance is probably here in Bellworm. Uh, let's see. I did a 23. 23. 
Uh, you you hear some whispering. You swear it's Belrin's voice, but you don't hear who he's talking to. <laughs> right. Makes sense. Go ahead, uh, Belrin and Kieran. We climb up the ladder. We take out the uh, looky dudes so that Ziggy can be the looky dude when he gets here. So we need the ladder. Plus fire might alert the whole camp. Oh. I'm going up the ladder. Okay, let's go. Do you want me to follow you, or should I stay back here and, and watch guard it so nobody comes in behind us? Do I know there are three guards up there? Uh, you remember seeing three cards initially, but you don't know the current status right now. Worst case scenario, I'll go up, go up there, and there'll be three guards and only one me. So I prefer if you come with me, but try to be very sneaky sneak. Okay. Well, your action was going to the door, so you can use your bonus Yeah, next action. round, next round. Yeah, yeah next I'll round. I'll usually use bonus action to climb up, if you like, but... Sure. Are you climbing all the way up, or are you just climbing to see? Just... Uh, climb to see. Have a peek over the edge. All right, give me another stealth check. Uh, straight roll. You now... Um, this is... I get the advantage from, um... It doesn't magic even item. matter. A roll, a natural seven, natural three, and a natural <laughs> six. Oh my gosh. So don't even worry about it. you. I mean, unless you're going all the way up on top where you're like playing view. No, yep, just a peek. Just a peek. Just a peek. You, just, what you see is two, or I'm sorry, three guards just kind of like looking out every once in a while, say something to one another. But you don't see Ziggy, obviously, because he's invisible. But Ziggy, uh,. I mean, roll reception check, I guess. Unless, unless you're actively, you might actually roll me advantage because you heard Bellworm down below. Uh, also, I think okay. with how perception, uh, stealth works, if they're in direct line of sight, you can see them regardless yeah. of. I'm trying to say if he's actually because he was looking at cages, but yeah, true. Yep. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh. Would you have been looking down towards the ladder if you heard bell room? Yeah. There, uh, you do see a little small kinder peeking out. She doesn't appear to notice you at all because you're invisible. Oh, right. <laughs> like he's doing this and she doesn't see him. <laughs> yeah, and there's no like sign language stuff we could do if we're invisible. All right. Well, but that is your turn. We move on back to uh, who is next now, because now that party's kind of split up a little bit. Mela, you're in the cage with the uh, two CLs. Do you want to say anything to them? They're not saying anything to you. Did they wake up out of their trance? Uh, they weren't really in a trance because I rolled for it, so they're just kind of sitting there and just kind of looking at you and just sitting there. Okay. I will... Do you speak Elvish? I do. Yes. Okay. Um, so I will go and kneel down close to them, but not, like, in their space, um, and just sort of try and quietly say, um, we've been sent by, uh, Ishvern. Um, are you the elves that we're, we're looking for? These are not the uh, elves you're looking for. I'm just reading to make sure I don't mess anything up real quick, so, um... Are you, how you speak? Are you speaking in Elvish tone? Yes, okay. and quietly. They respond to you in El Elvish and just like, 
Ishvar and Situ, uh, how'd you get trapped? Well, it's part of our plan. We'll just have to see how it goes, but there's more of my party in the camp. Um, just, just try and be ready. Okay. Our leader, uh, year call, they, they took, they took them to, uh, Sunward Fortress. Not sure where it's at, though. I overheard the gods talking. Is that other elf with you? Yes, uh, it's just our, one of our party members. One of our members. Um, and what about the kinder? I don't know who they are. About a day ago, they brought them and threw them in there. Mm. The, he can't help but tell us his name. His name is Kenneth. Kenneth? K E N N A H. Kenna. Kenna? Kenneth! Oh, Kenny! Kenna the Kenda. Oh, the Kenda name Kenneth. <laughs> Kenny Kenneth. What are your names? I'm I'm Mela. Of course, they don't have fucking names written down here in this module, so give me a second. <laughs> As the thing takes forever to pick up. <laughs> My name is Elman. My friend over here is Visrin. He nods. And then our other person in the other cage is Tamineth. Do you need me to spell any of those? T A M N A E T H for the one in the separate gauge. Uh, uh, Vizarin is V E S R Y N. And then Elman is E L M O N. Well, we're waiting for a signal from three of our party members. Um, but until then, we will just wait. So this was your plan to come in locked up? I, I, I don't quite understand. This is very... Well... Anti well, we were trying to... Yeah. We were trying to um, see how many sea elves there were in here that we needed to rescue, and also we're trying to do this kind of quietly. So... I've, this was the plan I came up with. Well, we, were, we were trying to think a way out too, but uh, you see that big beast over there? Mm -hmm. uh, it is a boulette. It likes to burrow into the ground and stuff, but if we could release it, it might attack, cause enough havoc for us to get out, maybe. I don't know. It was a half-shaped plan that we were trying to come up with. I think we were thinking about doing that as well, so we'll uh, have to wait and see how it goes, but um, I'm, yeah, I'm just one of the party that's here to rescue you all. So just hang on a little bit longer. We'll get you out. All right, we'll move there to Dashin and Vera. What are y'all doing? Go ahead, Vera. I have a few things I want to do, so. <laughs> Remember, you still have an action, bonus action, and reaction, in our, whatever, <clears throat> in your movement. Mm -hmm. So, what did the guards do after they, uh, they, they just put her in there? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, it, well, he ignored me last time I talked to him, so... Doesn't matter. Dustin, you can go. Uh, 
Do I perceive any stockpiles or um, contraband cases that would have been taken from the prisoners? Uh, you would have to actually go in there, but they're not allowing you in there. Also oh, in the jail room, okay. I mean, um, uh, give me a perception check with disadvantage. First roll, 23, second roll, 8. So An 8? Eight, you, you're not quite sure. You, <clears throat> you might can assume they're in there somewhere, but you, from your vantage point where they're holding you at, you can't see. Um, I'm going to use my message cantrip and point towards the tower and hoping to hit either... Ziggy or Carrie or Bellrum. But it's Are just you kinda moving away from there for you do this? I guess I, well, I was thinking. Keep in mind, you're still like around a, them, so it's. You okay, still well, to... then I would like to step about five feet around the entrance closer towards the center of camp. Okay. And then, like, By with the my back. And with my back towards them, I'm going to kind of kind of point up towards there and use message and uh, inform. Cause see, I'm just guessing that one of them's up there. I don't really know where they are, but it works on a point basis. So I don't know who's gonna receive this. I can't remember, does it travel through solid objects? It does. Okay. If I know the person that I'm yeah. sending it to. Yeah, yeah you'll be fine. Uh, long, it's a hundred feet though, right? Let me verify. I know there's a range on it. I think it's a hundred. 120. Uh, um, I'm gonna say there, that. You want to keep walking with him as he does this. I will bend down to tie my shoes. Uh, right here, <laughs> it's right where you're at. Right yeah. Here. God, I feel something bad happening. All right, what are you I'm... saying to who? A uh, whom? So I don't know how exactly, like, am, am I to pick the target that I'm pointing yeah, at? Yeah, whoever you choose or... to, if they're within that range and where you're looking, okay, uh, it does. you don't need to see them. And it's a cantrip, so you can yeah. cast it multiple times if you miss. Yeah. Okay, well then I'm going to uh, cast the it copper on... wiring is for flavor if you want to use it as part of it, or you can use your spell casting focus. Copper wire? Yeah, it's part of the as part of the components. Spell material. Uh, yeah. So some of your spells have components that you use with it, but that's one of the ones you can use your spell oh, casting focus that's instead that's if you okay. like. Which I think is your trident you're using it's your spell focus. So you can use your trident or you can use the copper wire. Your coil. I don't really care. Okay. Um, I don't think I have a copper wire. For flavor, I'll say you can have it because you okay. join later. But typically, cool. if you want to get for, for this, kind of goes for everybody. If you have any stuff that has actual spell components, you actually only use a part of the spell instead of your spell focus. Make sure you go around and try to pick them up or ask vendors or something. So you can have okay. a copper wire if you like for flavor. Thank you. Um, I pointed at, uh, or I'm directing message to Carrie and saying, everything's going good down here. Um, how goes it up there? You hear and this, this is in all your like head, mental. As you're climbing up this ladder and looking around, you hear this in your head. And I can reply mentally, right? I don't have to I think verbalize. You have to, I think you still have to verbalize. I mean, you can always climb by down and do it. You get one nope. free reply. I say nothing. If I have to verbalize, I say nothing. Does it say as a verbalize, Dashin? Uh, it does say it can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. Yeah, so you do have to at least whisper it. I'm not sure if Carrie would know that, though. I agree. But that's fine, because if it were a problem, I feel like she would answer. So I have done my diligence on reporting. Um <laughs> Can I, like, uh, save <laughs> save the reply for when I can reply? <laughs> um, I think 
There is aspiration. It says one round. So yeah, one round. Yeah, so you say, yeah, you, six seconds. Uh, uh, Pretty quick. So I will, so I will, I will say uh, up until your next round, you use your reaction to reply. Is that fair? Yep. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Uh, so Dashin, you sent your message. Uh, uh, I would like to stealthily approach the largest tent, which I assume to be Zarox or Sarox tent. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a stealth check. With advantage. And I don't mean like I'm visibly sneaking, but I am walking light footed, not trying to draw any attention. Ultra cash. Stealth check. Actually, it will not be with advantage because you're in direct line sight of the guards so the, at the cages. So depending on how you're approaching, I'm going to roll on how the guard reacts. You make it out like you're looking, I don't know what you can see, like you're walking towards the other tent or something instead. Okay, I'll, I'll put my hands behind my back and act as if I'm searching for ale, but also walking quietly so as not to wake any of these All right. sleeping fellow countrymen. All right. Uh, in this case, I'll say roll me deception check instead. Mm, nine. Actually, oh, we only one of them. Yeah, that was a natural two for him. So yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, I rolled three, but the other ones are behind the wall, so they wouldn't. Have actually seen you, but the one guard would have seen you. So, he's just a uh, yeah, one key, two key, three key. He's all saying in draconic. <laughs> all right, well, um, what are you doing? With the cantrip, uh, am I able to cast it again right now? No, because it's an action, so you have your bonus action. So unless it's a bonus action, it is not. Even then, I don't think you can cast the same spell in one round. That probably sounds true. No. Okay. But there's not many just, uh... bonus action cantrips, so... Alrighty. Uh, you can cast a bonus action spell, though. Because that is a cantrip, so you would be able to cast a leveled spell that's a bonus action. All right, hold, holding a, holding bonus action and ending turn. Oh, you're holding your bonus action for? Uh, just in case I need to throw a spell up to create a diversion. What is the spell you're holding? I just kind of need to know. Oh. Um, uh, minor illusion. Oh, that's a cantrip, darn it. I mean, if it's a bonus action spell, you can hold that one, is what I'm saying. Uh, furthermore, I think there's a problem because I'm still channeling invisibility. So can I even cast cantrips while I'm concentrating? You, you cast anything that doesn't require concentration. Okay, okay. Uh, Yeldra redeemed hurt them hard. So the worst time for that. <laughs> so if there is an attack, that can be uh, blue black that order forever. Blue black order forever. Nerd Holla, thank you for the prime sub. You can give a vantage to any of the players you like. Thank you so much for coming in. Can I get a shout out for Nerd Holla if any of my mods are in chat? Um, so. Yeldrab redeem hurt them hard. So if there is an attack, it will be critical damage. Uh, and Nerd Holla can give advantage to somebody. Advantage goes to Bellroom. Bellroom, you get an advantage. Ooh, thank you, Nerd. Uh, if anybody else is in chat, exclamation point rewards shows you what you can do to help out the chat. I always forget to do that one. So anybody wants to put exclamation point rewards, it shows anybody else in chat. Alrighty, uh, we're moving on. Uh, oh yeah, you had a question. So uh, you're concentrating on uh, invisibility, right? So if you cast another spell that requires concentration, you'll drop concentration on invisibility and start concentrating on the new spell, which means Ziggy will not be invisible when that happens. So as long uh, as you okay, 
Yeah, so as long as you don't cast a spell that requires concentration, Ziggy will stay invisible. Okay, well then I, I just end turn. Alrighty. Uh, do, 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 do. That was Dash and Vera. We'll move back over to Ziggy. As you've seen Kiri kind of poke her head up and looking. Um, all right. So, was our plan to like subdue these guards quietly and take over the tower? Or yeah, were... plan is to. Well, 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 we don't get to talk. Well, the, well we, this would have been discussed. This would have been yeah, discussed earlier. Yeah, I'm just earlier. reminding my. I'm reminding myself. Plan is to um kill slash incapacitate silently. And take over the tower. Yes. Okay. So, are there mechanics for us, like a sneak attack, if you're not a rogue or anything? No. D hmm. Depends on how you flavor, how you want to do stuff. I might reward that. Appeal to my inner enjoyment. You could easily probably run and show one off the side, and it might die from just the the fall itself. That was my initial thought, but like a dude falling off a tower seems to be a nice way to alert an entire camp that something is amiss. Depends on the side uh, you especially toss if he does him like off a little, him. Yeah, a little Wilhelm scream as he falls down the the tower or something like that. Um I mean, I, I even if I'm invisible, I don't get any like weird sneak attack benefits, so I would just make a regular attack, right? Yeah, uh, you'll get advantage on your attack. That helps. Because hmm. they don't know you're there, you definitely get advantage on it. Um. But if you're asking for something specifically that Carrie gets, is called the assassination feat for her. Right. Yeah, you don't have that. You just get advantage on your attack. I was started writing the the leader's name down so y'all can spell it correctly, and I forgot to do that. So there you go. That is the name of the leader of this fine establishment that is currently asleep. Um. All right. I will. Uh, um. I'll also I'm say, since you're all up there, you know, hanging down, kind of like the, well, you wasn't there, Ziggy, but uh, Kiri, as you saw, the, there was like these horns hanging down by each of them. Horns hanging down what? The horns, like, like on their person? No, hanging on the wall. On the wall, and there are three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Well, I will position myself in front of the horns, like in between them and the horns. Um, I'll draw my... Uh, it's not really There's one next to each. Oh, is there one next to each one? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah so in different locations. Um, okay. So yeah, trying to position between them is not really viable. Uh, I'll just draw my bow and kind of like uh, take aim at the back of one of their necks, but I'll, I'm going to stop and wait for Carrie to do something and then I'm going to do something immediately after she does. So you're going to draw your bow I'm like, and hold your got action a to attack when Carrie does something. Yes. If she if she makes an attack is basically what you're saying. Yes. I need to know exactly so this happens because you're holding an action for something specific to happen. So yeah, that's the. What that's was the Ziggy? Best. What is Ziggy holding his action for in case of Carrie doing? I'm holding my I, my action. I'm assuming. I'm hoping that, like, I picked the guy that she's not going to attack. My my thought is that she's going to like leap in, on one of them and assassinate. That I'm going to hit this guy, and then Belrum's going to come up swinging. Me directly, and we're all going to do it quickly enough. That, message you know, me directly we, which one you're going to target. So we're not um, mad at gaming this, so Carrie doesn't know who you're targeting because she can't see you. Uh, so I, 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 I kind of believe Ziggy is saying he can see them, so whenever he witnesses Carrie about to take action, he's planning to take simultaneous action at a different target. But right. he's aiming at a target right now, and I need to know which one he's aiming at. Uh, yeah, I will aim at... Uh... 
Uh, what, what, what direction is that? Uh, Here, I'll do this. Uh, I'll put numbers on. Yeah, I've, I've sent you a, a, a number. All right, cool. All righty. Uh, that is your turn, and then we'll move on to Carrie. What are you doing? First off, are any of the horns in any of the soldiers' direct line of sight? They're hanging, like, right beside them. So if I snuck up behind and reached... For the horn, would they see it or no? Certainly try. Hmm. It involves a stealth roll, and depending on ah. how you're doing it, it will determine that. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, before I do anything, I'm going to hold on to the ladder and turn around to talk to Bellroom. Not talk. Look <laughs> at Bellroom. And I'm gonna mime silently. Bellroom lo even looking at you. <laughs> we're, climbing up a, we're climbing up a ladder, right? So I'm probably just... Oh, okay. Oh, that's up. right. I remember you mentioning saying something standing by, but you got talked into climbing up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. never mind. So you're looking at her, and she does this. I mean, you're just doing this, right? Yeah. Yeah, just okay. like a white here motion. Yeah. Okay. I see one hand do that. Bellrum's like, stop. Okay. I stop. Okay. I will pull myself up onto the ledge and sneaky right. sneaky sneak very silently behind number one all right give me a stealth check uh 38 nice what are you doing once i'm behind him I'm going to reach, like, up and around and take the horn off the wall. Silently. <clears throat> and just hold it. As you're doing that, he reaches down to... Uh... He starts to turn and look at you. Why? What? He start. He's reaching down to go grab the horn. Why? As he starts to turn to look in your direction. He hasn't seen you yet, but he's turning the motion to look that direction. Okay, I will stay, like, you know, on his back. You know, in movies where there's like the jujitsu master and somebody turns around and they're like on their back. Okay, that's fine. He Not physically like jumping on his back, like just keeping in the blind spot at his back. Ziggy, you will hear them say this because you understand Draconic. He turns and like, hey, he's talking to Draconic. Where's my horn? And now everybody else is starting to turn around and look at him. What are you doing, Carrie? Ziggy, what are you doing? You've seen this happening. I'm not sure why he reached for the horn. I would say just because they're not statues, he's just happened to turn and notice the horn that's been there all night is missing. Okay. Pretty much. You know, I, I, since I've stead guard duty, right? 
I'm channeling that. I get bored and play with shit that I have, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I constantly do one of those things, for like, because I have a weapon. I reach down, fill my, all right, I sell my weapon, I'm still good, blah, blah. I reach down and fill his horn every time to time. So I rolled to see if he would, and he did, so. Okay, okay. It's not necessarily it, I was confused about that, because there was, like, nothing happening, so, yep. Yeah. Um, I will... But everybody Tumble else is now the... starting to turn. You're about to be spotted. Is what I'm trying I'm to say. I'm going to tumble. I'm going to tumble over the side of the wall. And try to hang on. With my fingertips. On the other side of the wall. Give me a dexterity saving throw. What else can I do? Give me a dexterity saving throw. And I'm going to say with disadvantage because you're doing it in a hurry. Well, that was a natural two, so yep, that's it was a, a nine. natural two straight roll anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it was a natural two on a straight roll anyway. Yep. Alrighty, guys, we're about to have some action. Let me figure out fights. This is how Carrie dies. You, you know, we've been in the thirties up attack. until right now, and all this. Not when there's the three of them. Start. I think I'm alone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, you're gonna fall forty feet. Mm -hmm. Would would I be watching? Ah, I didn't prep it. Never mind. I said I was gonna hold bonus action. I could have said feather fall, and it would have been perfect. Is that a reaction? I didn't do it. I chose not to anyway. Yeah, yeah but if it's if it's a if reaction, the spell is a reaction, you can cast it. But what is the yeah. range of it though? That's the question. Uh, forty feet is forty six, right, Belrum? I think so. I'm yeah. a 60 foot range for Featherfall. 60 yeah. foot. I'll be out of range. It is a reaction, though. It is a it reaction. Is, yeah. You can be like, Carrie, no, but it's too far away. Because <laughs> she went to one. Can't make this shit up. It's exactly 60 feet? Exactly 60 fucking feet. Are you actively watching that way, Belrum? Belrum? You mean Daz? Yeah, yeah, not me. Daz. Oh, sorry, Daz. <clears throat> I mean, like, because of the scenario we're in and trying to totally be non meta game, I'm obviously paying heightened attention to that area because that's, okay. that's the trigger point for our plan. But though I may not be watching it vehemently because I'm side focused, but you see Carrie jump over and as she tries to grab the topmost, she misses and she's starting to fall. And I like cover my hands on my mouth so I don't scream because I know I don't want to mess this up for my friends. And uh, fellow fall is verbal somatic and all that good shit too, right? Verbal material. What's the material? Small mm. feather or Small a piece feather. of oh, down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what are you doing? You're casting that. Uh, Carrie. Or sorry, Vera. What's your perception check? What's your passive perception? Uh, 14. I don't know that I've been looking, though. I was. No, this, is, this is more for shoes. solid. This is more for hearing. Oh, okay. So, uh, you hear the guard, the jailer is like, "What the hell is that?" And as you cast your spell, dashing, carriers, you're falling almost like starting to plummet. You start falling down, but. The jailer sees you falling down. And it's like, what the fuck is is now starting to move out to go investigate? And that's where we'll cut it for tonight. Because Barum needs to head off for his other game. And we'll pick up there. I'll set this here as you're a feather falling down. That is quite a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs>
And this does not break concentration for invisibility. No, uh, it's not a concentration. I think it does. I think it's but... concentration. Is it? Oh. Is it concentration? Oh, the feather it. fall is not. I don't think. So. I don't think. I think it just lasts for like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah I don't see the reaction. word concentration anywhere. No, as a reaction, which you take. Yeah, it's not a concentration spell. It just, it lasts for one minute, so you have feather fall for oh. one minute. But it's not concentration. I caramba. So you're good. So Ziggy's still invisible. But you now do have people coming to investigate somebody falling off the side of the tower. Which hints is now probably alerting the guards on top. So uh, you have one week to figure out how tits up this is going to go. Yeah, I think we just need to start shooting. Yeah, that's why I kept asking, what are you doing, Ziggy? Because you see her doing this shit. But she didn't make an outright attack. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, as she's as she's falling, I'm like, okay, well, we're this has gone bad. I'm going to start killing and just trying to kill people in front of me. All right. Well, we'll pick that up next week. And then uh, we'll uh, probably have you guys go ahead and roll initiative before the session starts so I can be over. Make sure I'm fully prepped and stuff for what's about. You want that now? No, because um, I don't have it up and ready. So we'll just. Okay. We'll do it before our session next week. So uh, thank you guys for um, joining in tonight. Very interesting play we got going on. Um, Good session. Good session. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I'm Good sorry rolls. for the confusion about the horn. I was just very confused about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like like uh, like uh, Rain said, they're not statues. They're actual human mm. beings. They're actually in a wash. They're not gonna like a lot of like with real life. Like I was telling the other groups, like what you're doing in this part of the world, the rest of the world still turns. It still happens. Still goes on. It doesn't wait for you to arrive. They're gonna do stuff. And me, like I said, as a guard. A military policeman on the guard. I've stunned many posts. I'll be bored. Be like, ain't shit happening. What I got going on? What I got here to play with? You know. And I ro I rolled for it to see if he would actually do it. So, like I said, the, yeah, no, I, the, the confusion was that I, the confusion was that I thought that he had been alerted. Oh no. And I was like, what the fuck? How was he alerted? No, it wasn't and that was alerted. the confusion. Yep. Yeah. It was more, it, like I said, it wouldn't even roll to a spot to see you. It was a spot to see if he's going <laughs> to grab something yeah 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 that that was the confusion is all i'm saying yeah so yeah 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 keeps it interesting keeps everybody talking thinking on your tipsy toes and it should be fun all right uh i'll leave this set up i don't like i said i don't have any plans to tear it down so this should be in that same state by this time next week so next thursday we'll hopefully get the epic conclusion of this and figure out what happens so um, if we can start earlier, because it might be a long combat, that'd be awesome. We'll figure that one out. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you've been watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below your favorite part of this uh, episode. If you don't want to leave your favorite uh, comment, leave your favorite emoji. Uh, we'll turn it over quickly to Quins and Rain. When you gonna be? Are you gonna be live streaming soon or? I really don't know. Uh, each week, I kind of treat this as a motivation for me to goal myself to start the next week but then the next week rolls around and again we're in the process of remodeling a house that's just a little bit down the road i, I kind of feel like once we move over there maybe i'll get back to it but i'm i'm really enjoying my break uh and i'm really enjoying participating in this campaign so do please leave those comments and subscribe and subscribe to the youtube channels those things help a lot and they take just a second of time Appreciate it. And uh, Nihilus, I know you said you have audio difficulties. Uh, when do you think you'll be live again? I am waiting for certain equipment I've ordered to come in. So probably not until at least another week. Got it. And uh, Old Man Garrus. Well, I will continue world building tomorrow. Either that or No Man's Sky if we get an update to that. But either way, 
uh, will be on tomorrow. Uh, if you're not a member of Discord, exclamation point Discord, come join the fun. Uh, Frello friend Weasel is doing the giveaways now f- until I get to California. Um, yeah, uh, come join our lovely community. Uh, come join our YouTube, exclamation point YouTube. That's where you can catch the Black Order. We're not holla that subscribe tonight. Uh, we'll be participating in, so that's going to be a lovely one. So, again and support and we love you very much and uh yeah until next time you have a great night have a good one